Africa to the world is back showing you the positive image of Africa that you've not been seeing. This is the main motive of this YouTube channel. And listen, we're going to our country number 26. And I'm super excited. And the country that we're going to, the map looks like a key. Can you guess which country it is? You got it right? Oh, wow. Let me know. Not because of the title, but you got the country that we're going to. You know what? It's just six hours away from Ghana. So this car comes in handy. Come along with us. We're going to show you what happens along the road and uh, what you also need to be able to travel from Ghana to Benin. So in order for us to be able to travel with our vehicle from Ghana to Benin, we needed this three document. That is the international driving permit for the driver, the international certificate for our car, and also an ECOWAS brown car insurance. With this three document, you are good to travel from Ghana to anywhere in West Africa. For now, that's all I know. Yeah? So yeah, let's go. When you're going for road trips, you have to make sure that your tank is full. And that's what we're doing right now, um, filling the tank of the car. So in order to fill the car, we had to spend just $765 in here. Yeah? All right. from Accra and we are actually 20 minutes away from the Aflao border and where we are right now is called Akbezome and apparently it's a market day because this place looks extremely busy I mean everyone is busy trying to buy something but I don't know like hi you wanna you wanna talk to me he's selling yam eh I'm going to Togo so I don't need yam I'm going to Benin and it's supposed to buy yam you know from here to how can I buy yam? What am I going to cook? How am I going to cook it? Oh, we are going home or... We're going to a hotel. We live in Accra. Oh, we live in Accra. Yeah, we live in Accra. So we're going to... You go hotel, you can get a place and prepare for food. <laughs> What's happening in Abuzomi? What happens in Abuzomi? Because we're going to Trevi Market Day. Trevi Market Day? Yeah. Does it mean on Market Day things become cheaper? Yes, sir. How much are you selling this yam? I've been selling in 12 cities, 15 cities, 10 cities, 20 cities. What yam is this? Is Puma? Yeah, this is a Puna. This Puna. One. Oh, okay. No mistake, boss. Yeah, what's up? I'm watching your, 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 your videos every time. You're watching my videos? Yeah, I fell in love with it. And I wow. love it every time. Out of nowhere, man. I was like, no one knows me in here. Yeah, uh, I've been following you all the way to Kenya, South Africa, everywhere. Your videos, I've, I've, I've been on you every time. That's incredible, man. Yeah. Are you from this area? Yes, please. Oh, is it a, a today's market day? Yes, please. What does it mean? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is the market. Uh -huh. and this, my mom is uh, 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 disabled. Uh, she has uh, a place. Uh, 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 so where is your mom? Uh, she's selling uh, inside. Uh, selling in there? Yeah. Can we see your mom? Well, this is a price for me. Especially yeah. our mothers in the market. <laughs> you like it? Let's say people know you here. I just we want to say the good words. Ah, thank you, man. You, know, you are working hard to put Africa on the map. I'm trying my possible best. Ghana. Exactly. Yeah. You know, when you told me that your mom is disabled and at the same time, um, I mean, selling in the market to take care of you guys, I felt like nah, I need to go it's, see your mom. It's incredible. Yeah, my man. My mom is a disabled person. Who? My brother is a lecturer now. I see. Wow. I'm in all through up airport. She did all, all of that? Yes, please. Whoa, the market is so busy, man. No, not even no, no space to even walk. Uh, no, this is a mom for every day. This is what they do. Oh, wow. Everybody is traveling all the way far from uh, North Columbia. Yeah. Nice. So, that's my mom. That's where's your mom? That's my mom. Oh, wow. my mom. Uh, this is my sister. Oh, that's your sister. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, she looks so young. Hello, ma. Hello, your mom. 
Ah, uh, this one's my great man. Udamaya. Udamaya. It's a great man in Africa. Yeah. Yes. From from Takradi. Takradi. Yeah. Thank you. Happy New Year to you too. Amen. Oh, uh, welcome. Good to see you. To our city. Yeah, <laughs> your son was appreciating you, and I wanted to come and say hello oh, and thank say you, thank, thank you. you for everything that you're doing for your children. Oh, yeah. Yo, I take it, sir. <laughs> I take that blessing. <laughs> oh, All right. Okay, okay where are you from Takradi. I'm from Takradi. Oh, yeah. Where from? Yeah, from Takradi. So I. I just came, um, going to Beni. Beni. Yeah, so we just stopped by. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good to see you, mommy. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Somebody like Wadamaya. Yeah. Hey. People know you. Welcome wow. Thank you. It's my first time here. I'm, oh, okay. Wow. It's good to see you, man. Good to see you, too. Are you from here? Yeah. Oh, wow. Tell me about your city, man. I should tell you about Guzman. Yeah. Guzman is one of the. Let, when we talk about Kente producing centers, Guzman is one of the biggest markets in Aguzma. Kente? Boat, yeah, Kente. And the market normally runs in the morning. I wish you should come early in the morning so that you take a walk through the Kente market. The Kente market still yeah. exists now? Yeah, yeah. It's just a few walks from here. I didn't know that. Yeah, the whole Ghana, this whole country. The whole Ghana. Quality Kente. Quality Kente. The whole Africa, West Africa, the whole Africa. This is where we, we do it. I, I, thought, I thought quality Kente can be found in Kumasi. No, no, where they, no your they people come, come down here to come and buy no, it No, I, I want to see it. Can you come with me? Yeah. Yeah. Here, here is one of the marketplaces, but I think they, they are closed now. They're closed now. But you can see some of the Kente Club. If you can come early in the morning, you'll see a lot of people here with their buying and selling activities. Oh wow, look at that. Yeah. But the market normally takes place at dawn. At dawn, like around 4.30 a.m. to 9 o'clock in the morning. So, this is Agosuna. We have to fill up our tank again. I mean, we just have to fill it up in case anything happens because we have Ghana City right now. We are about to cross the border from Ghana to Togo. So we need to just make sure that we are safe. Yeah, and I can't believe that we're spending, again, five, it seems fuel is so expensive in the country, man. We're spending 460 to fill the tank again. So yeah, let's go cross the border, man. Huh? That's Togo right there, but before you cross, you need to make sure you're checked in and all of that. So yeah, this is what we're going to do right now. Hi, Joao. Welcome. Thank you. How are you? I'm good. Good to see you again. It's a pleasure seeing you too. Yeah, so what do we do now? Uh, we have to get our ticket here, register the car, stamp, and stamp at the yeah. Togo side and we are on our way. So where's the Togo side now? The Togo uh, side is the just side. the other end. Uh, oh, so this is Ghana? Yeah. Yes, and that's Togo? Yeah. Okay, then. We have, uh, by coincidence, we have the the MP for the area too, who is oh. taking the tour around. Okay, I can I say hello to you her? You can say hello. Yeah. <laughs> so we're 
here to um, fill the forms. Anytime I fly, I also fill this form. So it's incredible to see that you also have to fill it whilst you're in the road, man. I mean, it feels different, but it's kind of cool, man. <laughs> what is this, though? Exemption from visa requirement. Oh, for entering Ghana. If you really watched the previous episode, you definitely know what really happened at the border. And I just hope that things change. I mean, I saw so many people complaining in the comment section that they should have paid the money. Listen, that amount of money is nothing. But I know and believe that there are vulnerable people out there who can't even afford. But yet, people are using their power to take advantage of them. And if I have a platform like this, I won't keep quiet. I believe that things must change. Feel free, I don't think I'm the only one who has experienced this at the border, but if you have ever experienced that at the border, let me know, comment below, tag me anywhere. But please, like this video, share. Let's continue the trip. I think I have a headache, man. Because whatever happened was so frustrating, oh my goodness. But we finally allowed to pass. This is the last thing for us to do. And Kuku, tell us more about what is this. What, what is this? Okay, so this is a laissez passer. Laissez what? Laissez passer. What does that mean? All right, so this grants the vehicle in into Togo. And then, it, so as you can also cross from Togo to Benin. How much did you pay for our that? destination? We paid seven thousand safer. Seven thousand safer. Yes, and then they took another thousand safer for registration. Whatever we've already done the registration in uh, what's the name uh, in Ghana, and they again said we have to do another registration. Did you pay at the Ghana border? No, 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 Ghana border. We you didn't, didn't pay. pay for the registration. So this one you paid for it. Yes, we pay. We paid for the last pass. That's the receipt, but the registration, they took the money with no receipt. What? Yes, they took the money with no receipt. I don't know about this, our Francophone brothers. Um, it's getting off head now. We think something has to be done about it. We need a borderless Africa. That's all we need. For me, I think I have a headache right now. And anytime I have a headache, which means I need to eat. Because this is so stressful. Man, we've been through a lot. Like, I think... Today has been one of the strongest days in my life. You see, I, I, I even have bruises on my hand, man. You know, they, they yeah, just... Bruise balls. Hold my hand like, give me that camera. You know, you know, I think this is the Africa that we all been preaching about. Yeah, the colonizers created the border. But now we are managing the borders. So we have to do something to allow our own people to move within the continent.
15 years. For 15 years? Yes. I know and believe that you'll be going in and out of... Yeah, I do cross the border sometimes. Yeah. yeah. How do you feel about these borders, man? Man, it's not fair. Because most times, like some, some of the family that live here, they also have support of their family also at the other side of the border. So for them to go visiting, like, they are, they are, they are the same family, the same son name, but they were separated by one bubble, there's one I don't know, fence or something. So, for them to cross over, they also have to negotiate with the security. <laughs> to cross over to see the other part of the family. Wow. Uh, why these are one people, these are one family. So, it's a very big problem. I think Africans need to help themselves. By, they don't know just live by what the white man gave to us. They don't live as a people. You know, we have our own way. We are all families, we are all brothers. Right now, I'm a, I'm a Nigerian, mm. but I live here in Togo. Then, when I see Ghanaians, I don't see them as Ghanaians, I see them as an African. Thank you. You know, like I told you, that I'll be visiting Ghana in two weeks' time. I don't go there as a visitor, I go there just like my right, right, I'm, and I kind of see my other family over there. So, all these border things should be quite out, you know, let's just live as a people. And it's so funny how you will be in Togo. But you can see Ghana right there. Yeah. But you, you need to use a passport or an ID for you to cross. Like I live, I live by the border. I just two houses from the border. Wow. Then when I'm every day, I, I like I'm seeing Ghana every day. But maybe uh, we, I will visit Ghana maybe once in a month. Why? Just because there's a, a bubble wire. Things are separate both here and here. If there's nothing like that, I can easily cross the border Ghana and buy something and come back to back. yeah. So it's a problem, you know. We need to wake up. Like what you are preaching. Even though I was enjoying the breeze, refreshing the sweet memory of Togo three years ago, but I was still thinking, since this border of Benin is closed tonight, where are we going to sleep? There comes another subscriber of Watermaya. And I believe that this guy is an angel sent from heaven. I, I just met this guy right here. He's a fan too. He's telling me that he's going to host me in Togo before I cross the border to uh, Benin. Tomorrow. But I just want to know, because he said you also have land in Agotime. Yes. So where are you from? I am originally, my grandparents are from Benin Republic, which I say Dahomey. Because Dahomey, before yeah. it became Benin, it was Dahomey. Yeah. So my parents are born here in Togo. In Togo. Yes. But I live in the U.S. Okay. Uh, Springfield, Illinois. Okay. Yes. So that's where I know you. But how did you have land in Agotime, which is in Ghana? Yeah, all this, that all this area is uh, uh, Igbe land, uh, Vota region. So I'm also part of uh, Keji, yeah? near Keta. Uh -huh. So my grandfather is from there. So I'm from Benin Republic. I'm from Togo. I'm from Ghana. I have a land in uh, Dawinya. Every time I want to cross the border, they always uh, try to uh, give me headache. So crazy man. I see what he's saying. I don't know if you guys get it, but the whole stretch is a mm -hmm. that has been divided into Benin, Togo, and Ghana. Ghana. Yes. But they are the same people. Now, if they have to go and visit their brothers in Togo, in Ghana, they need to check their passport. Mm -hmm. if they want to go to visit their sisters in Benin. They have to check their passport. Yes. Got us an accommodation, pay for it, make sure that that evening 
we were satisfied with good food. Bro, you are amazing, man. And this is why I keep on saying that the borders don't define the people of the country. Togo is the fact that even women ride a motorcycle man this is something that you hardly see in Ghana so anytime I come to Togo this one thing that I love to see look at that that's a woman riding yeah, look at that I think moto is more like uh, the main source of transportation in this country literally everyone owns a moto is, is moto luxury in Togo is it is it luxury in Togo moto huh? It's necessity, eh? Every household need to have a motorbike. Wow, look at that, man. Everyone, you see? Yeah, that's another woman. Look at that. But if you don't have a helmet, yeah? Yeah, you'll be arrested. In fact, so many people are not wearing helmets. No, the, the, the guy behind. Yes, that's fine. But they are not, they know encouraging passengers. You know, also One thing that I love about Kigali is that you cannot ride in the country without a helmet. Yeah. You and the passenger needs to have it. Yeah. And it's very, very important. So I guess the Togolese government needs to do they something about do it. it. They, yeah. have, they have done it. You know they have done happens? it, but I'm saying, see. Yeah, wait, wait, let me explain to you. Contamination. Yeah, what happens is the same task for the passenger is used. You use it, and you give it to somebody again to use it. In a day, 20 people may use the same task. So in Benin, now what they do is let every traveler who yeah. knows that is going to board, uh, is going to take a, a, Should a, a, have a, a helmet. motor, have it on his or her own task. Helmet. Okay. So the last time I came to Togo, I used the same road to Aneho. It was a very tiny road, man. And coming back after three years, seeing like, wide road in here it's incredible i mean like i said things are changing things are not the way it is before like this is a very wide road that is happening there's still construction going on i don't know we've been, we've been driving on it for quite a uh, like a few kilometers and i think everything is changing like look at that you know there's construction still going on in here that's This is um, the Lome Benin Road, right? What road is this? Togo Benin. Togo, is this is like, yeah, Togo Benin Road. See it. This is what needs to happen to the Accra Takradi Road, man. They need to do something like this. See? Same Kwame didn't want us to go through what we went through at the Togo border. So he got us an immigration officer from the Benin border to smoothen our process. And within 10 minutes, we were on our way to Benin. <laughs> we finally made it to Benin, man. Jeez. This was supposed to take us six hours. <laughs> we ended up spending more than 24 hours just to get into Benin. <laughs> Kwame is indeed an African angel. He made sure that we entered Benin smoothly, and when we were coming back, he also made sure that we arrived in Togo smoothly again, bro. And listen, Kwame fed us that evening and hosted us in Togo once again. He paid for everything. Like, I never spent a dollar in Togo. This is, uh, this is, this is the angel of the year, man. This is the Ghana baby. <laughs> this Togo baby. I, I don't know how he appeared, but I think he saved the whole trip to Benin. He's the African of the year. I love him <laughs> too much. Uh, 
that that place we visited is about 10 times Uzulezu. Yeah. It's about three or four times uh, Makoko. Makoko, about three or four times even Venice. Wow. Yeah, so it is not uh, uh, a, a place to despise. So, but you were on the water. Yeah. And you visited communities. Exactly. What was uh, your impression when you were with the people on the water? I think um, they just like us. Um, it was really great connecting with our own people. For me, I think the people makes the place me want to visit. I don't know how to explain to you. Like, I actually enjoyed my authentic self over there because the people were nice to me. They were amazing. I, I didn't even realize that I was on water, by the way, because everybody was so nice to us. And one thing that was really fascinating, the fact that I saw kids, I mean, riding the boats. Mm -hmm. It was everything for me. Because if you pull me out there, I'm gonna get drowned. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't born there. That no, is, you exactly. Born there. Yeah. That is exactly the same way when you told me you were born in Benin. I'm like, can you ride bikes? And I said no. So you're not born there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you very much, Ode. I think it's a nice experience. Uh, we were there for about four days. And we met some angels uh, along the way. It's the angel. Show the angel. Yeah, we oh. met some yeah, angels. Yeah, yeah. yeah we met. You too. Yeah, we angel. met. And you met you too. Angels. Our brothers. We met yeah. these angels on the way at Lome yeah. Beach. They saw us at Lome Beach yeah. and say, "Wow." What they a say, team here. They say, they say an angels are in heaven. Yeah. No, no, no. But no, some no. okay. angels are on earth. Oh, yeah, they are on earth. Yeah. 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 So, these are, are real-life angels. Yeah. Real-life angels. Yeah. You know, yes. um, imagine, imagine us fighting at an immigration uh, to the, to to go, to the border, border yeah. and then we come to look for food to cool down, and then we meet two angels, and they're like, you know what? I'm going to host you guys. They hosted us when we were departing, and they hosted us when you are even arriving back here, right? Yeah. That's, that's incredible, man. It, I just want to say... You guys are amazing. Thank you. Uh, Thank keep you. on showing the African love. Yeah. This is what we need as Africans. Thank you. We should not hate ourselves, man. Yeah, we should yeah, you we should are love welcome ourselves. the next yeah. time, okay? No. Come back. <laughs> See, it's not like come back. I'm coming back. Okay. Yeah. I'm coming back. <laughs> Thank you all. Yeah. Yeah. This is what we want to build yeah. a united Africa, exactly. a borderless Africa. Yes. Yeah, language should not be a barrier yeah. to us. Language was imposed yeah. on us. Our people were living borderless before the colonialists came in. We want to bring that back where I could walk from Ghana through Togo, Benin, Nigeria, everywhere, and come back to my home, knowing that I have just traveled across Africa. The yes. only two, the only two for development for Africa is to love one another. Yes. We have to love, regardless of languages, we have to love one another. Oh, Africa. <laughs>